Hey guys, and welcome to something a little bit different. This is the Hollow Hills Beta. Um, I had no idea about this game um, until Blind Man uh, sent me a video link, and I obviously watched it. And holy shit, it turns out to be some kind of Silent Hill. I mean, obviously the the name kind of gives it away. Silent Hill. Um, I don't want to say clone, but maybe more of a sequel, I guess, unofficial spiritual successor to Silent Hill, because, you know, Konami don't really give two shits anymore, um, unless they come out with a new Silent Hill for PlayStation 5, and everybody will be happy, or will they? Hmm. Silent Hill in 2020, hmm. made by Konami, hmm. I don't know, but anyway, um, I've had a little quick fiddle with this to make sure everything runs okay. Apparently it's compatible with uh, game pads. Uh, I think they lie because I've used my Xbox control pad, I've tried my PlayStation 4 control pad, and I've tried an old wired PC control pad, and no bueno. So, uh, that's why there's that continue thing here. This game has a very cool feeling to it. It's got a lot of uh, camera grain to it, film grain to it. Now, you guys know me, I fucking hate uh, film grain. It's horrible. Um, and the settings don't actually stay either, which is really annoying. Uh, but if you turn down the post process it does kind of ease off on the horrible film grain a little bit uh, but apart from that we can have everything else on ultra i guess ultra anti-aliasing yeah there's, <laughs> there's a lot of aliasing in this game so we want that um, to max now i don't think this stuff really saves because if we click save it says are you sure you want to save the settings and we go okay uh, but then we go to back and it says you have unsaved settings, but we've just okayed and confirmed that I, I don't know it's it's weird But that's the state of the game so far. I mean, it's only version 0.81 B So cut them some slack. I don't know nothing about this game apart from that visually. It's very nice Last oh, and I've gone to continue because I'm stupid one second Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's go new game. The music's not too bad either. Are you sure you want to rewrite the progress? Uh, yes. Press M to open the map, but you need to find it first. Mm-hmm. Highway to Hollow Hills, 1.45 a.m. Now, notice this, we're a bike rider. And holy hell, if this doesn't bring back memories of Silent Hill 1 and possibly Resident Evil 2 remake you can see straight away by what I mean with the uh, grain filter over the top it is absolutely horrible I hate it immediately um, but you can turn it off so there's that anyway here we are at some strange unknown pit stop with our bike which looks kind of similar to Claire's bike from Resident Evil 2 although not really let's go inside the controls are really weird as well. The ooh, what a dense haze. Where's the clerk? Anyway, I should find a map. Listen to that sweeping ambient music. That is Silent Hill. Pretty close. It's it's pretty good. Right, so we can move around. Uh, e is interact and uh, WASD move you around. You can also look around with the mouse and yes this game fully supports mouse controls and it does a bloody good job of it as well We're very happy with that visually i'm digging it apart from the uh, grain filter music very nice as well the movement is not bad yes it's tanky which you would want it to be being a clone of Silent Hill and or an homage to Silent Hill and Resident Evil but it's okay it, it works very nice. It's not as bad or as archaic as those old games, but it's nice. Anyway, let's have a little look here. Yes, the controls in the option are not the controls for the game. Bear that in mind. So, we found a note. I'll be back as soon as possible. Please, please be free to use the bathroom. The code is shit. 
scratched out. 0311. All right, cool. All right, fair enough. The inventory screen, it's basic and it feels, you know, very indie, but it works. You can pick up a map here. Okay. Well, this is a map of Hollow Hills. It's a normal copy. I don't know what that means. It's a very... Oh, oh, right. Hang on. So you can get a normal copy or a copy with lots of hints on it. I guess that's... Is that how you choose the difficulty mode? If so, that's really interesting. Normal copy. Let's have a look at the normal copy. Yes, you see, you see, you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we have that one, that shows us a question mark. Whereas this one does not. Let's go with that copy just for the purpose of looking at the demo. Oh, right. Every map corresponds with the difficulty level. Ah, so this is the map with no hints at all. Professional difficulty. I guess that means you have to make your own. Uh, notes and things like that which is cool you know I like it let's take that anyway we'll go for normal if it's just going to give us hints and things we don't really care about that so E is to search not now so he doesn't want a soda we've got bullet beer not feeling it not feeling it is a good moment okay yeah maybe some some work needed I don't think this even work yeah it definitely needs some uh, some proofreading it's got some jank I mean we're not talking day mare levels but energy drink unlimited power come on I'm liking the graphics beer and chips great combination I'm not hungry fair enough my friend fair enough the game automatically saves and there are many secrets check the map for hints all right food this food doesn't seem so healthy mate you're a truck stop what do you expect cookies ah these cookies i used to love them when i was younger young younger 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 yeah i used to like blue cookies as well whatever blue cookies are um right cleaning stuff and motor oil nothing that i really need all right then well let's not overlook all right oh three eleven eleven the elephant in the room any longer and look at this, you know, it's very basic, but it works. And the fact that you can use the mouse for all this stuff as well is amazing. Access granted. Also, before we came in here, we did see through the window and the clerk was here. But now the clerk is not here. How very strange. Hmm. Hold run to sprint forwards. Well, that makes sense. My sister disappeared a few years ago. No notes, no messages, nothing. And now I received a short SMS. Please, I need your help. I'm in Hollow Hills, your sis. Could it be possible that she's here? After all those years. Yep, kind of feels like they've directly copied Silent Hill. Look at these camera angles. Ooh. These guys have done their homework. It's nice and authentic. So we've got a tonic. What is a tonic? I'm guessing that's like a health drink. Well, oh. Ah, restores a low percentage of health. Yeah, so that's basically a health drink. That's cool. I like it. And uh, what's in the crapper? It's a photo of Isabel, so there, she is here after all. And we're called John. Nice and generic name. Um, cool. Okay. Okay, Boomer. We got it. We got it. Well, that toilet's stuck. Also, this toilet's a shit old. The graphics are really nice. It's very... Ooh. That's not normal. Um... Yeah, we definitely uh, have taken a wrong turn somewhere. We didn't have an epic long <laughs> corridor to actually get into this place. Uh, mm, we have like a flashlight or something. Doesn't look like it. 
okay, I mean, that's kind of enough of that. Oh, shit. We can backstep with the quickness. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Yeah, a fan of the backstep. Um, okay, let's look at our map. I have... I don't have the map of this area. Where the hell am I? Well, I don't know, John. That's what we're trying to ascertain. Maybe Isabel's down here somewhere. What? What? What is this? Uh, let's play follow the leader. I, oh shit! Look at this. It's just like the outer world from Silent Hill, I guess, but it's more organic and not quite as industrial. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, yeah, we're in a very, oh god, look at that, a very organic, gribbly area. Yeah, graphics are very nice. This is Unreal Engine as well. Um, I am brave enough to look into my past, uh, to face my future, no. I've locked my fear and with it a possibility to find any exit, but... Is there any exit after all? Not even death, only an endless circle of pain and suffering. Well, that's a cheery note in it. I'm sure that person didn't really know what they're talking about. I guess they didn't try hard enough to get out of here. Is that actually flashing? I don't know. Yeah, camera angles are a bit strange. Um, I can't actually see anything at all. Is there a flashlight? There is. Flashlight obtained. It wouldn't be a Silent Hill clone without a flashlight now, would it? The camera angles are curious. Um, it kind of has like a hybrid system. Where you, ha you have like these shifting camera angles, but... You also have almost some control over them. At least it feels that way. It's very disorientating. Really badly. Okay, I'm guessing we can't go that way. And I don't know where the camera's gone at all. Okay. Yeah, we've we've got some jank. We've got some jank. For sure. Okay, let's go this way. Now we have a flashlight. Oh, we have flashy things. Uh, is that a door? Yes. Can we open the door? We can. I like doors that open. They're my favourite. Oh my god. Yeah. Really fucking hard to see. Press the left trigger or right mouse to aim. Ooh. Uh, a human bone. Cool. I guess. Not... It's not the most sophisticated weapon. Uh, that is not, John. That it is not, but I guess it's going to have to be somewhat adequate. Alright, John. Let's take our bone and keep going. Like, do we go back now? I don't know about you guys, but I cannot see anything, even with this. So, I guess. I mean, the only way... Yeah, we don't have a map. The only way is back. Uh, well, that's just a load of old nothing. Can we go back this way now? Is it like... Ooh. That's not broken down. Hello? Anybody, uh, anybody want to chat? Anyone want to have a little play with my bone? Uh, let's not think about that too much. I know it's my birthday, but Jesus. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. It is way, way too... I cannot see anything. I already... Do, I don't like it in games where they use darkness in this kind of manner. 
where you literally can oh that's making me feel sick the way the camera is spinning and turning Ooh, okay all right what I'm gonna do here guys I am going to turn up the brightness because it doesn't need to be this dark that's actually ridiculous oh my god this ain't gonna be a bright game at all is it e to save doesn't work oh that's better yes we're ruining the ambience but hey guess what I can actually like see doors and stuff now what is that thing oh hello good fucking question what is that thing to me, it looked like a glitch. <laughs> I don't know more than that. Well, we got a switch here. Mm. And that did... That unbarred the door. Good. I like unbarred doors. Right. Ooh. Something moving around out here. Yeah, very difficult to uh, fight these things because I can't really see what's going on. I feel it has been artificially done that way. Yeah, I can't. I can't see. I can't actually fight the enemies because I can't see them. Right. Well, we've got a health drink, so I guess we're going to use the health drink. But I don't know. How much health that restored and there's another one there. Cool. There's a little bit of that industrial kind of Silent Hill vibey design. Right, so we're back up to like 50% health. Ooh, look at that. That's like out of Silent Hill 2. That room with all the weird pulsy stabby bits. Okay. I can hear gribbly sounds. Ooh. Well, that's tasty. Let's take our other health tonic, shall we? Oh. Yep, yeah, I did not mean to run through into that. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Come on, I got killed by a fucking door thing. Where are oh, why are we in first person now? Why are we in first person? Are we meant to be in first person? I don't know if we're meant to be in first person. I like it though. First person. Fixed. Oh, you can turn the. Oh, look at this. So you can turn the fixed cameras off. Ah, right. That's a little bit better. I think. Because the camera following behind us. And are we going backwards now? Yeah, I think we're going backwards. Okay. Because of course we are. I'm sorry, but it is so dark. It's really hard, like obnoxiously hard to actually see what you're doing. And I've turned the gamma really high up as well. Here we go. This is where we want. Interesting, though, to have the option for fixed cameras if you want them. Very interesting stuff. Run! Okay. Okay, well, I mean, that wasn't... What the fuck? What is... What is... Ah, uh, what's going on? Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, fuck. What is that? I didn't even see this thing. And uh, we're going to die again, I think. No, we're good. Medkit obtained, and not a moment too soon. Well, we'll take that for now. Can we do anything with that? There's something missing here. Hmm. Oh, 
and that is grub so I'm gonna pause this and I'll be right back and we're back guys right so uh, I don't know the material of this wall but it looks fragile uh, so it it yeah I guess so Ooh. 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 <laughs> well, um, I guess big warts on the wall kill you. I did absolutely not expect that. Okay, well... This is becoming a bit of a regular thing, isn't it? Dying to everything. But you have to experiment, you know? Kind of strange, though. When you come back from dying, it puts you in this first-person camera, which is a little bit strange. And um, we seem to run the wrong way as well. I actually am a bit of a fan of this first-person camera. What isn't helping is uh, the fact that... Oh, there we go. Run! Oof, oof, oof. Run! Okay. So, that... Oh, God, I forgot about you, you little fucker. There we go, there we go. Let's dole out a good sound thrash into this thing. I mean, what is that? Can we not hurt it in first person mode huh or maybe we just have to leave it to explode right well we need a valve and we actually found a valve but then we died because I'm a stupid ass uh, right well let's have the valve can I have the valve please thank you run with the quickness Now, I guess... Yeah, there we go. They explode. Ooh. That was savage. And I've eaten too much cake, I think, as well. Oh, God. Right. So, use the left and right to turn the valve. Wait, do we have to... Do this in a certain order? Well, let's turn the valve the other way. Okay, I guess we just had to, you know, turn the valve the right way, which makes a whole load of sense. And we just got a checkpoint too, which is good. So, note 004. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a giant so great that he could eat a horse from a single bite. People feared him, and for good reason. He was, for he was fierce and invincible in battle. Some have used his great strength, though, and the giant was only loyal to himself and to those he offered his great gift. But even as, an invin uh, as invincible as he was, one day he couldn't have gotten up any more. Okay, the way this is written is bizarre, but it makes sense, kind of. Uh, how someone so strong could get weakened that much? It was very surprising. And eventually, giant died. Eventually, giant died. Before the folk could bury his spoils, thousands of parasites have exploded from his chest that were devouring him from inside, expanding a horrible disease for the county, country. Um. Right. Well, that note just about made sense. So big invincible giant guy uh, somehow died for some reason apparently he was infested with parasites um, yeah cool story game so this game's going to be about parasites then uh, yeah really like this first person camera it works really well hmm okay I guess that's just a door oh Oh, are we inside the giant? 
I mean, this is really gribbly. It's definitely more disgusting, I think, than Silent Hill. And... Oof. And I, I think I mean that in a good way. Blocked. I need to find another path. Okay. Fair. So what are you thinking, John? Oh, God damn it! We're going to have loads of different ways to go. So what are you thinking, John? Are we having fun? It's locked by some strange mechanism. Mechanism doesn't look that strange to me. Okay, well, what have we got here? Another health tonic. Is there a way of checking our health? Is it in our inventory? Uh, okay, I guess we're on caution. Now we're all fine. All right, so a bit of a Resident Evil inspired health um, thing going on there. That's fine. Not opposed to that. There we go. And you know, the combat in first person thus far ain't too bad either. Step here and give your blood to open the gate. Oof. Ooh. So we actually had to have like a bit of a blood sacrifice there. That's interesting. Good thing we had enough health or well I suppose the game gave us a health drink, but hmm. Yeah, a lot easier to look around the environment in first person. Huh. Don't really want to go down there, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I can go down there. Can we jump? No. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a door? Is there a door here somewhere? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, that's kind of a gribbly mess. Ooh. Oh, right, okay, so we can clip through the... Ooh, there, that's actually not where we want to go. Uh, yeah, they need to work on that clipping. I mean, you know, it's forgivable. This game's beta, so... I'm not going to judge it too harshly. Uh, oh, hello. Ah... Hello there. Uh, oh, jeez. What is that? It's hurting us. I guess we've got to kill these parasites on the heart. Yeah. There's a lot of parasitic symbolism here. Which I'm wondering is where this g is that where this game is going? I'm hoping there is actually like a cohesive reason behind all this weird shit, like there was with Silent Hill. I'm gonna guess there probably is, if it's well written. Not like Daymare, which is just kind of fucking all over the place. Oh, hello, you gribbly bastard. Oh, God, there's a couple of them. And, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's take that med pack. What is going on? Are we good now? Can we... I guess now we can go down. Get the best ranking by finding all of the secrets. Interesting. Oh! And now we're back here. Back where we began. What? Am I still in a nightmare? Well, it looks like it. I guess we've got a tonic. There is our flashlight. 
What else have we got here? No way I'm going to drink from these bottles. <laughs> yep, fair play. Oh, can actually go in here now. Oh, look. We're kind of in the, uh, not the upside down, but had enough bathroom for today. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, that's understandable. I think I had enough bathroom for today as well. Trying to decide whether I've had enough cake for today. Ooh, staff only is just floating there. I guess that's just a bug that's going to be sorted in the finished release. So, here we are. I guess I cannot use it anymore. Uh, I guess you cannot. You're not that salty about your bike? Oh, look at this fucking place. This is definitely interesting. I guess we can go in there somehow. Um, yes, I th think I think I'm on board with this game. Now, I don't know if we're going to get attacked by enemies, like in this kind of outworld style. Look at the, you know, visually. Um, it's, ooh. Ooh. Press E to equip the weapon. Okay, well, it doesn't really say anything about the knife, but it's got to be better than a bone. I guess. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so Silent Hill. Um, um, oh god, this is hard to... This thing's hard to attack. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Shit, fuck that noise. Door's broken. Of course it is. Um, oof. Don't quite know how to defend myself against those not responding to any button there's some very silent hill music I approve so here we are looking for our sister um, and things gone very awry oh oh what the fuck was that that's like some weird bug thing. Ah, another one. I'm digging these enemies. Again, bugs, parasites. I wonder. These are weird. They kind of look like almost like face huggers. Face huggers with predator heads. Oof. Now, if I was this guy, and that's still playing music, if I was this guy, I'd be slightly concerned. It definitely has quite a nice little horror vibe to it. A little bit more than Daymare. Door is broken and glitchy, apparently. Ooh. Saw that. Tonic obtained. Oh, we like our tonics around here. So there's going to be lots of little things to miss in this. I wonder if there are like multiple endings and shit like, oh, that just leads back round to the bike. That's interesting. Man, it's dark. Yeah, you'd be fully freaking out by now. Welcome to Hollow Hills. I mean, it's a little bit too offensive with its references to um, Silent Hill. It's not subtle in the slightest. But, hmm. 
Ooh, we got the bad ending. Demo clear one continues. Items, 27 to 29. Defeated enemies by fighting, by shooting. Is there a way of getting a good ending? I'm digging the music as well. Yeah, so... I mean, it could, it does feel like a... I was going to say a poor man's Silent Hill, but actually, even that's a little bit too harsh. It's not really a poor man's Silent Hill. It looks like quite a competent game. Um, I'm keeping my eye on this one. I'm going to do some more research. I'm going to see if we can get... Um, better ranks and, and stuff like that it doesn't appear that we can do much on this screen uh, keyboard nope looks like the keyboards kind of completely locked out I guess this game kind of just locks up here so anyway guys um, I was hoping this is gonna be up for my birthday which is July the 4th, uh, but I think we might miss that, considering it's now half past 10, <laughs> and I got render and upload this, so it'll probably be up on the 5th at some point. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. I think this is interesting. Thanks to Blind Man for letting me know about this game, and as always, guys, till next time.